Hey guys, Hunter from Black Valve, and today I'm gonna to show you how to program the RGB K552 Red Dragon keyboard. Now we have another video that is with the 80% version of this keyboard, but we're just gonna go a little more in depth and show some of the other options that it offers. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to program the K552 RGB. This is the full 100% scale. Um, first step, hold FN. This is kind of your, your, your action key from here on. So hold FN and hit tilde. When you do that, you'll see this start to flash. That tells you you're in edit mode. You also get these indicators up here flashing, letting you know you're in edit mode. So <clears throat> from here, whatever is color is flashing on tilde is going to be your program color. So if you see purple, that's going to be what is going to get programmed out as you touch the button. Um, so if you hit function and over, you will go through and off is an option as well. So realize that as you're coming through them, one of them is off. So as you're pushing right on the arrow keys, you can change the color. Now, one note here is you cannot go back a color. It's only to the right. So you're cycling through them in one direction. And that was kind of confusing at first. So just know you can only cycle one direction. So if I get this purple, I can program it to whatever I touch. Alright, and then also you can change the brightness here. This changes the overall brightness of the entire keyboard. So that is how you program per key. So the other options with this keyboard are through the insert home page up and page down. Uh, so from here, you don't have to exit. Uh, you can go right to it. So you don't actually have to be in edit mode to change these options. And this mode is probably, yeah, it's like a flash. So it is a mode. Page up and down is going to give you different options um, through each. And they're kind of like banks. So page down cycles through a number. One, two, three, four options. Page up has four or more options. Yeah, just four. Home. It has probably yeah, it's got, they're probably all reactive. So home is like chases down the line. Once you hit a key, chase like splashes. Yeah, so that's just the different options you have. Insert's going to be different like waves and fun stuff. And then of course, the this is like one of the most important modes right here. So there's just a few other features I wanna show you on the white keyboard because um, that's what we have plugged in right now. So some of the other things you can do is change the speed of, of an effect, except for this one. So once you have an effect going, you can actually change the speed of it here by going down or up. So here you can see it's much faster, and here you can see it's, it's much slower. It's you know, almost moving key to key. So you can kind of create a different feel of an entire scene I and mean, this looks like a totally different effect it's really just an adjusted speed of this effect also from here you can adjust the direction in which this effect is happening so if you hit backwards it's going to go backwards if you hit forwards it's going to go forwards and that's just the direction in which the effect is happening which on this one it's not very apparent let's see if we can show one Whoop. let's show one that's more obvious well, that changes the color of it too. Shit. <laughs> Look at that. So left and right on this effect is changing the color of the effect. So a lot of things you can do here is just play with each one and see what you come up with because there's a lot of options here that aren't clearly laid out in the directions. It's very much a page and a half of a few prompts, but we don't talk about that. Well, I hope this helps. And if you have any questions about this keyboard, please throw it in the comments below. Thanks for watching and like, subscribe, and we appreciate it.